go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Louis Segudo, CEO of It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta. Who's happy to be here today? Yeah. Yeah. Great to be here. Great to be here. I love being here. And as Randall said earlier, I wait these two weeks to get here. It's exciting. It's memorable to be here. I enjoy coming here. And today's theme is about making your business memorable. How do you make your business memorable? How are you going to get people to remember you? I think you have a choice. When you wake up in the morning, how are you going to be memorable? I think you have a choice every hour, every day, every week, every month of how you're going to be memorable. You know, when you go to a meeting and you show up on time, that's memorable. When you show up late, that's memorable. When you tell someone that you're going to call them back and you don't, that's memorable. And when you do call them back and follow up, that's memorable. I keep things simple in my life. You know, you can have these big productions to make people remember you, the latest giveaway, the cheerleaders we're going to have in an event, the free booze we can give away. But what really is, what do people remember? They remember consistency. They remember credibility. They remember your word. And that's what people remember. But today, I'm going to do something a little different that I haven't done in the past. I'm going to make this an interactive part of the show. Now, if everyone will stand up, please. Everyone, I need everyone to stand up. Put your stuff down. Now, I want you all to walk around. I want you all to greet as many people as you can in two minutes. I want you to do it. Wait, I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Listen to the directions first. I want you to do it in an uninterested way. Like, it's just a formality. You really don't want to be doing it. But I just want you to do it. I want you to go around and say, Hi, my name's Louis Agudo. Hi, I'm Tracy. Nice to meet you. Start now. Go ahead. <laughs> In an uninterested <laughs> way, please. Hi, I'm Lori. My dad is doing my daughter. Hey, 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 I want you to introduce yourself again to as many people as you can, as it is your best friend who you haven't seen in six months, and you've called each other, and you keep missing Yay! each other, and oh my God, Whoa! you're excited to see them. Now go do that for a couple of successful in your personal and professional life, you have to have some positive energy. Because what we put out there is what people see. If we put out negative energy, people see that. You know, we all have stuff. We all have stuff. You have stuff. You have stuff. You have stuff. And boy, do I have stuff. But a great saying that I love 
is that if we were to take all our stuff, each of us, and throw it right here in the center of this room, I'm going to look at all your stuff. We go, wow, you guys got problems. I want my stuff back. <laughs> because we all have stuff. And we can choose how to deal with that stuff. We can beat ourselves up. We can say, oh, my life sucks. We can say that, you know, God, is it ever going to get any better? Why me? And you probably know people like that. Why me? Or you can choose to do something about it. Because you have the opportunity. You have the options. You're the only one who can change your life. I can't. I may be able to talk to you. I may be able to give you some advice. I may be able to try to lead you in a direction. But ultimately, you are responsible for where you go in your life. No one else. Now, if you believe this is the only life that you'll ever have, what are you waiting for? Why not live it to the fullest? Why not live it positively the best you can? It just makes sense. And even if you believe that, you come back later on. Still, why not? Why not live life to the fullest? Amen. Every day you have a choice. It can either be positive or negative. And for me, and a lot of this information I got, I just, I've been down in the dumps the past few weeks. I have, I'll admit it, I have stuff, just like everyone else. I decided to hole up a little bit. I decided not to do some networking I normally do. Maybe you've been there, you just kind of get introspective, you don't want to go out, you don't want to meet people. You gotta get through your stuff, right? I think people have been there. That's where I was. And I read a book these past, this past week, and it's called The Energy Bus. 10 Rules, Fuel Your Life, Work and Team with Positive Energy. It's written by John Gordon. And there are 10 rules that he has on the energy bus. And a quick synopsis of this story, it's a man whose life is in shambles. He's in danger of losing his job, his marriage is failing, he doesn't get along with the kids. And he goes out to go to work, he has a flat tire. And that just puts him over the edge. Goes in to talk to his wife, can you give me a ride? No, I have my stuff to do. Take the bus. And taking the bus changes his life. And here are the 10 rules that I want to share right of your life. You're the driver of your bus. You are in charge of your life. Your husband, your wife, your children, your mother, none of them are in charge. You are ultimately responsible for your life. Your desire, vision, and focus move your bus in the right direction. Where you want to lead yourself is where you want to go. You need to look and do things and move forward every day in a positive way. Fuel the ride with positive energy. Absolutely important. Don't beat yourself up. Take little baby steps. You know, you want, some people get overwhelmed by the goal. Oh my God, it's just so much to do. How am I ever going to do it? One step at a time. Invite people on your bus who are smart and share your vision for the road ahead. Because, you know, we can't do it alone. I'm fortunate. I, I have some friends. I, I, I talk to Randall about what's been going on in my life. I talk to other people. You need to do that. You just can't hold it in all by yourself. Because it's difficult when you're by yourself. You need friendship. Post a sign. No energy vampires allowed. There are people who suck the life out of you. you gotta get it, try to get away from those people. You know, <laughs> I laugh at that one because my mother sucks the life out of me sometimes. <laughs> but I love my mom. I love my mom. But you know, see, she's on my bus and she's gonna stay there. She's gonna be in the back of the bus, but she's gonna stay there. <laughs> Enthusiasm attracts more passengers and energizes them driving in the bus. Enthusiasm. You see how enthusiastic everyone is with what, what people were when you were meeting someone like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in so long. It's so great to see you. It makes people feel good. People wanna be felt, feel good. And they wanna know that 
You feel good meeting them. Love your passengers. There are people on your ride. Let them know. All the crew here who does It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta, thank you. Thank you. You're all an integral part of this. And without knowing that you're doing well, you know, sometimes it builds a little animosity in the background. We don't want that anywhere in our lives. Drive with purpose. Always look forward. Always look to the goal. And have fun. Enjoy the ride. Why not? Maybe the only ride you have. Thank you very much for your time.